Ball their first time out, 2.14 to go in the first quarter. The Welcome to DirecTV Fantasy Zone. It is week 17, our final week. We've got a great guest here joining us in the man cave. And it's not a man, and I could not be more excited about that. It is WNBA star Swin Cash, guys. All right. Yeah. Oh. Coming in from the home team. Thank you for Yes, I'm excited okay. right now. You play for New York Liberty. I do, I do. You led Detroit to their first WNBA title. Yes. You went to school in Connecticut. In what mm -hmm. world are you a Steelers fan? Uh, born and raised okay. right outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, McKee Sports. So uh, my loyalty lies there, of course. You know, now in New York, I cheer for the New York teams, but today I just couldn't do that. So. Yes, of course, you've got your terrible towel. They, of yes. course, made it Slim into the Slim odds. Yeah, I did not think too. it was going to happen. I am a fellow Pennsylvanian. Absolutely. Did you think this was going to happen do you think they have a chance in the playoffs I I don't think anyone wanted to see the Steelers get into the playoffs I really didn't you're right we said it's a I'm couple a weeks ago fan. I don't want to see and it's there. like you know what um I mean the last two weeks Ben's been a little off but yeah, uh when I it's agree. time those lights go to brightest you know the Steelers usually show up and our defense has been playing amazing the last few weeks too yeah they've been great stopping the run they've been great through the air recently but D'Angelo Williams uh, in a walking boot yeah. What happens How do you guys, now? Don't focus on the negative. Yeah. I'm worried. <laughs> well, a little nervous, but you know what? We have to figure out, you know, what it is. At the end of the day, as um, long as our defense is solid, you have been back there. We just have to figure out a couple of things. And I mean, you know, we've still got Antonio, so don't count us out yet. We're in. Mark We're in. Has been don't talk to me about Mark Tavis yeah. Bryant lately, right now. <laughs> he, he cost me my fantasy title. Do you play fantasy uh -oh. football? I don't, but my husband does, okay. and um, it's very it's very fascinating. I told him he's a huge Giants fan, but I feel like he's a fan of everyone now because of fantasy. So yeah, I try to right. stay behind, you know, give him little tips, pointers here and there. But yeah, yeah, of course. I'm with you. Now, I, in order for the Steelers to get in, the Jets had to lose. Yes, I I felt terrible for Me too. Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's never been to the playoffs. Brandon Marshall Ten years. as well. Ten years. Yeah. Is there a part of you that feels some uh, sadness for them on behalf Not of the Steelers? Not a chance. Do you no. see this? You know what? I'm, no, no, no. no. I, I am because, um, as you know, Revis is from Pittsburgh area. Oh, yeah. And I, I would have liked this. I thought the Jets had an amazing season. What they did so far, them, you know, to win as many games as they did, you would love to see both them and the Steelers in. But when it comes down to loyalty and there's only one team that could get in, Everyone that follows me on social media, you already know I'm going with the black and yeah. gold. Now, yeah. you played for UConn. You yes, were part of their undefeated season. I know <laughs> that we were talking about how interesting that was earlier. The Panthers lost. Of course, they're in a great situation headed to the playoffs. Do you think it was a good thing that it sort of took the edge off? Well, it's fascinating because we actually talked about this on our show, We Need to Talk, and I said to the ladies, I said, for me personally, there's a lot of pressure once you go through that regular season and you have no blemishes on your record. It's like now the pressure is on. Sometimes whenever you get that loss, because I've won both ways. I've won, lost in the regular season, right. won a championship. I've went perfect 39-0. and 0. And so I think that for a team like the Panthers, having this loss can really get them focused. And at the end of the day, people only remember if you win a championship. They don't really remember what you did in a regular season anyway. So for them, personally, was it important for you to be undefeated? Like, where does that rank among your many achievements? For me, at that point in my career, um, it was important because we had lost in the final four the year beforehand. And so we came back, we have four seniors that were starting, and we basically came in the beginning of the season, told Coach Ariama, go sit on the bench, we got this. And we were like, we wanted to steamroll wow. everybody, and we did. So wow. it was important then for us. You know, a lot of times in the NFL, quarterbacks are judged on whether they've won the big game, mm -hmm. you know, whether they've won titles. You have won titles at every level in I've your career. Blessed, yeah. What what have you done? What have you learned that you can tell us about what it takes to win? Um, the biggest thing that I learned is um, you have to be selfless and you have to be committed to the process. And the process <laughs> does not start just when the playoffs come. The process is making sure that everybody's locked in from preseason all the way up until the end. Um, and for me, throughout my career, I've won at different times where I've had to be the star 
and where I've had to do not as much. Um, but I've always cared about what my teammates were doing to be the best. So if you're worried about making your teammates better, at the end, you all are going to be great. And that's what I've learned. Wow. You got to have that glue. You got to have that selflessness. And you have to be committed to the process. Wow. Yeah. That is, an, it's That's incredible deep, right? what, what it's you've deep. done. <laughs> I'm gonna, it is deep, I'm gonna but change I like up that. The deepness really quick. I was stalking your Twitter before okay. the show. My research staff actually was. And I get made fun of your, I'm the only girl in the studio for two oh. entire seasons for having a blanket in studio because it's freezing. <laughs> and your Twitter, my research said, okay, you wrote, because you work for MSG uh -huh. mm -hmm. and you cover Knicks, right? Yes. Which is incredible. And I don't yes. know how you even have time to do that. <laughs> but can I just get a high five, please, uh, yes. on the having the blanket in studio? Yes. Ah, it's important. It's important. It's because freezing. as you see, fully it's clothes, our biggest, our, our, stockings, oh, some yeah. oh, shorts, oh, I, I was going to wear something else. I was like, nope, be not doing it. See? It's absolutely. Okay. They Sometimes I even have on my sneakers and everything else. I'm just saying, it's our biggest argument in studio. How are you enjoying MSG? Is it Great. I am loving it. Um, awesome. It's great so far having the time to just really interview um, Coach Derek Fisher, learn a lot about the Knicks players, getting to pull their personalities out. A lot of times the athletes, you know, we're really guarded whenever we're doing an interview. But yeah. um, it's, it's interesting whenever I'm interviewing them. Yeah. I feel like they're a little bit looser and we can have a conversation. And they people trust get a you a little bit. Say, yeah, you they, get they, it. I won't stare them wrong. <laughs> what, uh, yeah, is that, so is that the, that's the plan from here on out? You're going to do both? Uh, I think it's amazing that you were able how to you do play it. and <laughs> also do broadcasting. It, are there some downfalls to that? Is there a negative side to that? Um, there's no negative side. I will tell you a story that's pretty funny. Is I was on air before and I was covering the NBA and um, I said something on air and then the next thing you know, my phone's going off and pick it up. I'm like, I won't tell you the athlete, but, you know, star in the league. And they're like, oh, what's up? I heard that. That's not really, you know, what it is. Blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh. And I start laughing because I still have these friendships with people and they're it's like, tough. you know, it's tough to separate sure. it. But uh, I feel like the guy, whether it's male or female, they respect me, my point of view. I'm always going to be as completely honest as I can be, but I'm also trustworthy. So I try not to cross that line um, if I have certain information that I don't want to share. So it is yeah, a little tough, a but line. this is what I want to do and continue my career after sports. So I'm starting it now. Well, congratulations. What's Thank your take you. on Kobe's farewell tour? I thought it was kobe s the way that he said goodbye and the way he did it his way. I mean, it's the way he came in and it's the way he's going out, so I love it. All right, Swin Cash, who's, I just want your name. That's, all, that's how I'm going to end this. I'll, yeah. For five minutes, yeah. I sat here and was like, how does she have the coolest name I've ever that heard in cool my name. entire life? Yeah, because no one can pronounce my full name, which is Swin Taylor. So Swin we just, Taylor? Yes, yeah, so we cut that. it off and just go by Swin Cash. Swin Taylor. It has a ring to it, right? Swin Cash, good luck this Thank season you. and with your future and everything. I'm sure those blessings will continue. We're yes. going to send you guys over to Jason Thank Smith. You. All right, thanks a bunch, Kay. Appreciate it. We have some fantasy highlights to catch caught up on. Spencer Ware from three yards out, touchdown, Kansas City, up 14-0 now over the Oakland Raiders. Ware over eight fantasy points so far today, nearing the end of the first quarter. This, of course, the final game in Charles Woodson's illustrious career. Meanwhile, this play set up by a Levante David fumble recovery, Doug Martin. This play goes for 20 yards from Jameis Winston, set up a field goal. Tampa Bay with the lead over Carolina, three to nothing. And so far, Levante David on the day has a sack and a fumble recovery for Tampa Bay. We take it out of Denver, where the Broncos, who are now in contention for the number one seed in the AFC, have a 7-3 lead over Phillip Rivers. This could be the last game. They're the San Diego Chargers, 7-3, under four minutes to go in the first quarter.